Hi, I'm Mrs. Space Cadet. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first installment of my new series called Drink and Make, where I drink things and I make things. Today, I'll be drinking tequila and making my famous guacamole recipe. In true Mrs. Space Cadet fashion, I don't have what I need, so instead of tequila, I'm gonna be drinking coconut rum. Also don't have a shot glass, so. This has ounce measuring. I don't know exactly what a shot is. Cheers. Ugh, I'd rather, ugh. I'd prefer tequila, so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that was the drinking thing, so let's go on to the making thing, shall we? We're gonna have to wash that down with something. Cheers. Oh, this is much better. Let's go over the ingredients. When I make guacamole, I find that the less ingredients, the better. Trust me on this. Take it from this Irish, Austrian, Bulgarian, Dutch person. I know how to make guacamole, okay? All you need is avocados, fresh minced garlic, fresh lime juice. And the key is to make sure your avocados are ripe. The only little other thing I would change is maybe add cilantro. Dan hates cilantro, so I really love to add it to his guacamole. Other than that, I usually leave it out. Okay, those were supposed to roll there artistically by themselves. For every avocado, add one clove of garlic. Let's have a little chat first. Originally, my plan was to first make margaritas, and then while I drank the margarita, I was gonna be making the guacamole. So I thought, you know what? I don't have a lot of time to do these videos, so I'm not gonna make margaritas from scratch. So I'll just straight up drink tequila. And then what happened? I didn't have enough time to go to the liquor store. So I got coconut rum out of our fridge. Disgusting. I'm working with what I have, okay people? Just bear with me. Good way to tell if an avocado is ripe. Wow, this lighting sucks. When you remove this, the little thing here, it should just, oh, yeah, that's this one's not ripe yet, but we're gonna use it anyway. It was a little hard to pull it off. This one already fell out. <coughs> Let's try this one. Yeah, that one's not coming out either. Wow, this cooking video is just turning out to be a quite the spectacle, isn't it? So these were all fails and they're probably not even ripe enough, but. So you wanna go ahead and not cut your hand. Might as well go ahead and apologize for this lighting while I'm at it. Disgusting. Anyway, for these drink and makes, I was thinking, you, know, you don't need to just cook. We could do like crafts. I could do crafts with J-Boo. I could rebuild engines with Dan. I feel like I should just stop filming this right now because nothing's going right, but I guess that's the, uh, allure of my videos, right? Everything sucks and it's almost funny in a sad way. This bowl's not even big enough. Just great, just great. Mm. If you guys have suggestions of things that I should drink and make, um, also, who should be a special guest? I could have J-Boo, or you could choose Dan, or you could pick my mom. Yeah, I don't know, just give me your ideas. So you wanna mince the garlic. Add the garlic to your overflowing bowl of avocado. I use about half a lime, fresh lime. Just squeeze it in there. Take your masher, whatever you wanna smush it with. I like mine nice and smooth. Some people do like to chop the avocado up, like cut it up and then lightly smash it. Nah, wow. <laughs> At some point in this, you wanna add salt and pepper. Where's the salt? That doesn't even say Himalaya, it says Hamala. You gonna flush the toilet in the background? I like to use this Himalayan salt because I'm just so fancy like that. If you haven't had a Dorito in like 20 years, 
it tastes like Doritos. Guys, that is all you need for the best guacamole, I am telling you. With garlic, hint of lime. Mm. I'm also fully aware this is the worst cooking type video you've ever seen. But you know what? Set your expectations low and you'll almost always meet them. Thanks for watching this episode of Drink and Make. Stay tuned next time for more disappointment. Until next time. So good.